All right, so let's pull together some of the stuff that we've seen and make a quick example. So I've called this file example1.html and I have it open in my browser here. We're going to start with the HTML document, uh, HTML tag and then the body tag. And I'm going to make a form. I'm going to give it a name, F1, which you'll notice is a common name that I give to my forms. And what we're going to do in this form is have people give us their name and their age. So we'll ask for their name. So input type equals text, name equals name, and age. Input type equals text, name equals age. And again, if any of this HTML is confusing for you, check out the W3Schools tutorials, or you can go over to my HTML one credit class and check some things out um, to figure that all out. We'll do input type equals button, value equals, let's say enter. So we're going to want people to enter the website. And then we're going to do on click equals, and in between these double quotes will be our JavaScript. So what we want to do here is get their age and print out basically the information that they've given us. So we're going to have a variable, uh, let's say age equals document dot name of the form F1 dot the name of the field age dot value. So there we've got their age, and we can say alert, and then single quotes you are. We want to concatenate their age, move that over, years old. All right, fix that so I've only got single quotes in here. Add in my semicolon. Okay, so here we're creating a variable called age. That's going to store the data from the form. And then we're going to alert the text you are, concatenate, stick on their age, and then stick on years old. Now I could do document.f1.age.value here instead of storing it in a variable, um, but it gets a little bit messy doing those big long document object model statements and if I want to use age in other places I can. Okay so this will basically alert their age and our form and let's take a look at that. So if I do 21 it says you're 21 years old. Okay so let's make this a slightly more interesting and we'll title this how long until I'm 100? Now, this is pretty simple math. You don't need a web page to do this, but we're going to try it. So, how long until I'm 100? So, we've got their age. So, we're going to take their age, uh, 100 minus their age. So, let's delete what's in that alert because we'll change that. We'll create a variable years is 100 minus age. And then we'll alert you will be 100 in and then concatenate this variable years and then the text years. Okay, so this is all stretching out. Let me just break this so we can see it all at once. So we have our variable age is pulling the age out of the field. We have a variable years is 100 minus whatever their age is. And then we alert, you will be 100 in, concatenate the value of years, and then concatenate the actual text years, period. Put that all back on one line. Reload it over here. How long until I'm 100? If I'm 21, I'll be 179 years. If I say I'm 88, I'll be 112 years. Okay, so nothing too sophisticated here but a way to practice with some different statements, variables, and mathematical operators.